Who's your fantasy MVP? All right, we'll get right to it. We're going to start with Jamie Eisenberg from CBS Sports. This is Jamie Eisenberg from CBS Sports, and my fantasy MVP, at least for the first half of the season, is Brown's running back, Nick Chubb. I love the setup for him without Duke Johnson there and with Kareem Hunt suspended for the first eight games. I think Chubb's going to be the best running back, maybe the best fantasy player non-quarterback for the first eight games of the season. You figure out the rest once Kareem Hunt comes back, but you want a guy that's going to get you off to a great start. And we saw what Chubb was able to do last year once he took over for Carlos Hyde as the featured running back for the Browns. From week seven on, he averaged 17.8 PPR points. And I think you're going to see him have the opportunity to do even better than that because I think he'll be more involved in the passing game. Keep in mind that over his final nine games, he had four games with at least three receptions. And this is going to be a much better offense with Odell Beckham on the field. You can get Chubb maybe at the end of round one, beginning of round two, but I think you could take him as a top five running back based on his potential. So we know what the top four running backs are. Barkley, Kamara, McCaffrey, Elliott. I think Chubb is next in line. Again, you take him that spot. You get off to the hot start. You worry about what happens when Hunt comes back. But I think you enjoy what Chubb will give you as the first half fantasy MVP and maybe the league MVP for your fantasy leagues in 2019. All right, Jamie, bring in the Nick Chubb fire. I think the most interesting question for fantasy owners with Nick Chubb, who I've seen go as high as you know four in drafts in place of Ezekiel Elliott, is simply the fact that are you happy if you have a top five running back for ten weeks and that's it? Are you content? Are you? Are, would that feel like you made the right pick? It's the inverse Zeke Gordon, right? It's <laughs> right. I mean, not that he's going to you know disappear, and, and that's a debate of its own, right? What happens to Nick Chubb? Is he a Top 12 back instead of a top five back when Kareem Hunt returns. But are you happy if that's what you get, if you get the league MVP for eight weeks? If I got him for eight weeks, I personally would be happy. I mean, we, you don't win at the draft, but if you can have an MVP-type player at the running back position, then that would be huge for you to get off to a 6-2 and two start. I mean, if, if you're looking at 6-2, and two, I mean, and you're still adding players in the meantime. You're not just staying stagnant. I think what Jamie brings up about the pass catching, that is that is the difference. What do you believe about Nick Chubb in the receiving game? He is capable. The The, the one reception he had for a touchdown where he caught it behind the guy's back, I mean, that was a sensational play that a lot of running backs cannot make. Will he be used with Duke Johnson gone, or will Hilliard just kind of slide right into that Duke Johnson role? Those are things that we don't know. It, it And that's what you got to ask yourself when you're drafting – uh, Nick Chubb either as high as what he's talking about, either 4 or 5, or if you wait for his ADP. Well, and it's narrative street too, but you, you wonder if this team looks like they can or believes that they can stretch Chubb from a workload perspective because of the return of Hunt later in the season or not. And there are, uh, this offseason has been filled with these speculative pass-catching running back upgrade situations where Always. Carson and Michelle and, and Chubb, can they catch passes because the target is worth so much? So um, Nick Chubb, the fantasy MVP pick from Jamie Eisenberg. Oh, hey, <laughs> I was just doing some heavy research. It's the research that makes the fantasy footballers great. Click that subscribe button and find out more. <laughs> 